A very good morning friends, a quick video on how to download STB emulator on your Android box. Uh, for those of you who have a regular Android box instead of a global media box, you would find your place to right in your home screen. For those of you who don't have a regular Android, let's say if you have a global media box, you'll have to first click on the home screen and then you will have to click on the right arrow key in your remote to get to uh, Google Play. Uh, so let's get started without any further ado. As you see, uh, you just click up down, make sure you go to Play Store here. Uh, once it's circled in, uh, sorry, once it's framed in white, you just have to click the OK button in your remote. Always point towards your box, that's key. Okay, perfect. So when we come to Google Play here, you would like to uh, use your mouse mode in your remote so all you have to do is just click on the little mouse icon in your remote click that once and then press up and down to figure out where your mouse is so my mouse is right down I'm just gonna click the up arrow key get it up here so once you press the up arrow key all you have to do is make sure you take it to this white space which says search for apps and games so you would click on the white space here and then uh, you would have to type in STB emulator so you could start off with I already have some search options as you see but let's start brand new thinking that we don't have any search options there so S as in Sam T as in Tango B as in boy okay and then Click on space here at the bottom. Alright, so when you type in STB and click on your space, my friends, pay attention carefully. You would see a couple of options falling coming up on the left hand side of the screen. Okay, so what I want you to do is click on STB emulator free. So the one right at the top. You see that? You see my mouse, right? This is the one I want to click on, STB Emulator Free. So you take your mouse right over there and then you click OK in your remote. So once you come to this dashboard, pay attention carefully, I want you to click on the very first icon you see here, which is STB Emu Free and you get, a, you get the name as Maxim Vasuchik 3.8, okay? So just click on that. So you just click OK. Now you take your mouse all the way to the right where you have your mouse inside the green box which says install and then click install we're almost there guys now you have to be patient here because we're going to get this downloaded as you see it's getting downloaded so hang in tight it'll take a couple of seconds maybe a minute it all depends on your uh, speed so if it's hardwired it'll be quick if it's on wi-fi you have to be patient <coughs> getting close so it's 86 percent all right 96 99 so it's getting installed perfect so now when we come to this screen, all we have to do is click on open. Simple as that. So we get to the little green box which says open. Okay. Right click on your remote. And then we will come to a screen which says greetings. Okay. So when we come to this, it's very simple. Take your mouse all the way to the bottom. Left that is. And then you would click on configure application. Okay, so pay attention carefully, it's configure application, all right, and click OK. All right, so now when we come to this settings dashboard, okay, we would need to take the mouse to profiles, all right. So I'm just taking my mouse all the way to the top, in the center here, on the left center, 
get into profiles click OK so now when we come into profiles right we will have to click on new profile whatever number which is on your screen so for example I'm having a uh, number six EB any sequence can pop up depending on what type of box you have whatever uh, number you have regardless just click on this space here okay new profile so when you click on new profile now pay away close attention to what I'm going to tell you next right you'll have portal settings STB etc uh, etc et so now I want you to go to portal settings first okay so we go to portal settings click OK there okay so now we have portal URL portal language HTTP proxy settings etc so when we click on portal URL okay here what I want you to do my friends is this comes in by default right depending on who the backend service provider is like who are you receiving IP TV services from whoever the supplier is they would give you a URL you need to include here okay so pay attention carefully so this is something you will need to obtain from your service provider from your supplier so whatever URL they provide you is the URL you need to include here okay in this space here so the regular like for example the regular theories whatever the URL they provide needs to have HTTP double colon forward slash forward slash so that's a no so any URL they provide you starts with HTTP that's the web portal double colon forward slash forward slash so what I would like you to do is delete everything else and then make sure you come up to this so I'm just going to show you that so how you to delete this I'm just going to make it very quick so you understand right this is how you would delete this off okay once you have the URL once you have the URL from your provider so you take the mouse all the way to the end okay after the letter L as you could see and then follow me closely my friends you come down and then you see this little X that's the delete button okay the X is the delete button so you just do you see that so you keep pressing that okay you keep pressing okay 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 you keep doing that all right when you keep doing that you could see everything is getting erased right so you come all the way to the end of the second forward slash and then whatever URL they provide you please put that on as you see you have a dashboard here for those of you who are my clients I'll be texting you the URL so all you have to do is put the URL there and then simply click OK for those of you who are other who have other service providers all you have all you have to do is just you know enter the URL there and click OK simple as that now let's assume we have done that part we click OK okay so we're done with that now so all you have to do is click on the back button so you will have this as a, as a little hook for those of you who don't know the remotes you have a little hook there or you might even have it uh, with letters saying back so just click on the back button once you do that right I have another exercise for you click on STB configuration so pay attention carefully some uh, you know clients and customers always complain hey uh, how come my screen resolution isn't the best how come my screen is more bigger I'm not able to navigate properly so for those of you who have this problem pay attention very carefully because this would give you a concrete solution for screen issues you have so just click on screen resolution regardless how big your TV is you can have even a small TV a big TV it can be a 55 inch whatever just click on the ideal resolution this would sort out your problem so you just click on 720 into 520p that's the ideal resolution all right and finally uh, this is what's required right the MAC address so this is a system generator MAC as you could see so every box would have a unique MAC right all you have to do is uh, make sure you share this MAC with your service provider so you will have to come to the screen take a close picture and then forward it to the uh, provider that is 
clients of mine will forward it to me and if whoever your supplies is forward it to them whoever your supply is and they'll help you with the rest right so this is pretty much a quick demo of how to install stb emulator so once you come to this my friends before i let you go just click on the back button back button again now you would like to click on your home button and please don't forget before you call your service provider uh, and let them know unplug the power uh, pin at the back of the box right that's key only way the services will be loading is unplugging your power pin so i'm just going to show you a power pin there as you see my finger is pointing towards that the power pin so unplug your power pin at the back of the box perfect and then all you have to do is once you let your service provider know once they give you the green light that everything is being installed put your power pin back on the box and then you're good to go so for those of you who are interested you can be anywhere in the world if you're interested in getting IPTV services with me trust me you would clearly see the difference I provide you a wide range of services with several channels across the world it can be sports it can be news it can be tv series it can be uh, unique uh, tv channels uh, that is may maybe like uh, in the country you watch so all you have to do is just email me you have my email address and then finally uh, you could also, you know, just power your box. I'm just letting you know before you uh, turn off your, you know, remove your pin. That's also safe, a best way to do it. And then coming back to this, you can also text me international wide, uh, any country you may be. So for texting options, you could uh, use plus one, four one six seven three five six four three three. So I'll repeat that again. Plus one, four one six. 7356433 or you could also type in 0041673563 so please feel free to text me over whatsapp so it's free for you as well uh, and i hope you enjoyed this video i'll be surely happy to help you out if you have any questions or concerns your feedback is most welcome take care then guys until uh, i catch you up with my next video have a lovely day then. Thank you.